Nigeria is gradually approaching 29th May for the inauguration of President-elect Bola Tinubu Ahmed of the All Progressive Congress APC. While a number of APC stalwarts cannot wait to grace the August occasion, several other Nigerians are still cringing at the verdict of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, with the assertion that Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, or Peter Obi of the Labour Party deserves to occupy the 2023 presidential seat. Well, the Independent Africa has been talking to alleged member of Amnesty International London and founder of Civil Rights Action Front, CRAF, comrade Amohefo Abode Godwin, who believes that Peter Obi is the rightful winner of the election. For him, the Labour Party leader is a representation of a saviour for Nigerians who could deliver the country from bad leadership and systematic failures. Carrying out a piece of it yeah, yeah. is that the most populous candidate amongst them was Peter Obi. The election came, so Nigerians were expecting that they were going to clean their bad wounds. They are going to clean their ills. But to the surprise of Nigerians, what took place was not an election, it was a selection. For the many Nigerians who opposed Tinibu's uh, inauguration in Nigeria and abroad, Mr. Godwin also indicated that he anticipates major protests both home and abroad. Uh, Dante, the vice presidential candidate of Labour, came on air a week mm -hmm. ago okay. to inform the country, to inform Buhari, to inform the, the chief judge, telling Buhari openly on channel television that he should not swear in Tinubu. Okay. Telling the chief judge not to present himself to swear in Tinubu. That swearing in Tubu is as good as swearing in the army, but they are in for a joke this time around. Mm. Nigerians united, both home and abroad. Nigerians collectively are working for May 29th. Okay. Nigerians are saying, you cannot swear in Tinubu. Tinubu has not been able to meet the constitutional provision by virtue of section 134, okay. subsection 1 and 2. Tinubu has not met it. So these are constitutional clear issues you cannot swear in. It. We human rights activists are saying no all over the world. What I'm doing here, my colleagues in the U.S. are in the street now in the U.S. They are informing America. The ones in London, they are in the street in London. They are informing the British people that Nigeria is going to zoom for problem. If Nigerians feel that by May 29th, what they are seeing that is going to happen will be ugly. A section of, the, of Nigeria, like South, South and Middle Bay, can, can jo con, jointly come up mm. to suspend the constitution. We have power to do it. But not everyone shares Comrade Godwin's sentiments about Tinibu or Obi. As you can see from this contrasting opinions, Nigerians are divided over their new president-elect and how they feel about him as the swearing-in approaches. Some are hopeful, some are doubtful, some are angry, some are happy, some are waiting and some are protesting. Obviously, the social political climate in Nigeria is tensed at the moment, but we will closely monitor development and update you as it happens. Reporting for the Independent Africa, Amanda Kati, Accra, Ghana.